Hi, Gemini. It's Elle here to do your weekly reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, subscribing to the channel. It's much appreciated. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's go ahead and jump into this, Gemini. All right. Thank you, Lord God, for blessing Gemini with a clear, concise message from you. All right. So, Gemini, off camera, it looks like... Um, the cards want you to investigate, especially what somebody does at night or where they go at night. Um, something about the moon or maybe the moon, uh, new moon, full moon will illuminate something to you. Maybe that there's some secrets here. Um, you need to investigate, okay? You need to ask questions about uh, any concerns that you may have here. Because there could be a third party situation here. It could be something, you know, um, I don't know. There could be something else or someone else here. Uh, let's see what the cards, let's see what the cards have to say. Right. So we're going to pull energy for love. Let's see. What's the love energy for Gemini? What's the love energy? The nine of pentacles. Okay. So we got our single woman living on her own, um, wanting to keep relationships outside of her home or heart space, um, keeping people at arm's length. She doesn't have time for intimacy. Um, she's focused on what she's created, the abundance that she has created for herself in her own life, in her own garden. Okay. Um, people feel like she's the perfect catch or she checks a lot of the boxes on their list but um maybe they feel like being with her is unattainable or somebody is um unattainable or if not unattainable they are coming up as um ferociously independent that you know doesn't want partnership or connection or companionship what else is going on for love? All right, the chariot could be dealing with the cancer. There could be someone who is um, coming back in to um, maybe I heard right some wrongs, move past the obstacles that were in the relationship, the marriage, the business, whatever it may be. Um, this person is taking the reins in this relationship here, and they're going to move it forward. It looks like this person has two different. Um, personalities also there could be somebody of mixed race here somebody could have a white car a black car um, more than one car they put a lot of time energy effort into their vehicles and a materialistic thing somebody wants to win okay Let's see. what is this about what is this about okay okay six of cups all right um, there, there might even be some un, some uh, childhood trauma, some un, uh, yeah, childhood trauma. P people aren't dealing with stuff that they dealt with in previous connection, in previous uh, relationship, uh, in family dynamics. Um, somebody wants the relationship to be more fitting, healthy. Um, there needs to be a sense of service given, you know, back and forth. There needs to be balance and harmony. Somebody feels like there's always argument because somebody's inability, their failure to be responsible, you know, to take responsibility. So there's always an argument. It's like um, this person is just so childish that they will not take responsibility. Therefore, it turns into petty argument. This could be you, Gemini. It could be the other person. What do we have for love? The sun card. Um, something's going to be illuminated. There's, I don't know. Somebody wants positivity. You know, radiance, light, fun times, uh, joy. Yeah, somebody feels like um, you guys need mediation. You need a mediator. You need some a go-between or you need someone to give you guys guidance, especially if you are married. Maybe even, yeah, marital counseling here. 
Yeah, but two of cups because somebody feels like you are their person um, and you feel that way too. You feel like the relationship is mutually beneficial. You guys can already be married. Somebody wants to heal the connection. Uh, forgiveness here. Somebody feels like, look, it's better for us to be together than apart. We know what that feels like. What else? The Five of Cups. Someone is feeling like something got taken from them in, in terms of maybe somebody walking away. Somebody feels very upset doesn't know how to come back to the other person doesn't know how to make amends maybe so much time has elapsed between the two of you also there was somebody who was there was infidelity there was a cheating spouse there was somebody who was lying was saying anything who was not serious about the marriage or the connection Could be done with the Scorpio, Taurus. But now that somebody has removed themselves from the connection, they want to come back. They want to heal the connection now. What's the overall general energy for my Gemini's right now? The Nine of Cups here. Sorry, as I have visitors in the home. Okay, so the general energy is wish fulfillment, getting what you want. Um, make a wish, it can very well come true. Um, the Nine of Cups talks about luxury, lap of luxury, um, happiness. Uh, let me see. And there's this judgment. Um, if you want this person back, there's an opportunity for you guys to come back together. This is general energy, but this is an opportunity to, to for you to revive something. Maybe even relive it. Uh, make some decision to be better in it. The Ace of Cups, yeah. This is an opportunity for you to, you know, um, your self-identity, how you identify to the world, or maybe reshape how you identify. Also, for some of you to get more emotionally stable, balanced. It seems like it comes when you're not with this person. Yeah, it's an opportunity for you guys to start again okay uh do have progression here these cards flipped out opportunity for you guys to start this cycle again six of wands maybe for you guys to actually go all the way and have victory here and maybe even long-term life partner here it, it doesn't seem like there's an energy of the both of you wanting to give up, but it's just an energy of maybe somebody was just not serious about the connection. There were other parties here, um, but there is somebody waiting for you. Are you waiting for them? They're waiting for uh, for you guys to come back together. There has been a period of no activity of, of not coming together. Somebody just got real focused on their money, real focused on what they have. Or what they have to offer someone just got focused on uh things um on providing but not really actually being in the relationship and showing up to the relationship and someone is also marrying into money someone is is uh curious about the other person's finances and resources someone also could be doing research here in terms of the other person's finances and or resources Someone is trying to, there's an energy maybe outside of this connection, trying to revive something. Uh, maybe somebody that was, uh, was already married to this person is trying to come back. Could be an ex, somebody that they have children with. Oh. There was somebody who was just lying altogether. You know, they just weren't honest. They didn't show up in the best, in the best light, in the best fashion in this relationship. But it looks like somebody wants change here. If this reading resonates for you, Gemini, go over to the website, book your reading there. Take advantage of the text question where you can text a question to the number below. You can also donate to the channel by clicking the Buy Me A Coffee link. Thank you, Gemini. Many blessings to you. Take care.